Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're making Buddy the Bear today. So his entire body is made with loops and threads impeccable. The color is guacamole. And parts of him, like the inside of his ears, his muzzle, and his belly are just done with white. Now the white I'm using in this video is Red Heart Comfort. So for the leaf, and the heart on his nose. I am using this. It's uh, Forest, that's the color, by Loops and Threads Impeccable. I did not like what happened here, so I've already fixed it in my pattern. So that won't look like that when we do ours. It'll be, it'll be better. So I used a matchstick for his smoke. Yeah, I have a long one. I just broke it off at the length I needed it and I wrapped it with white yarn. And I mean, when I broke it off, I shaved down a point so that I could stab it into his mouth so it's not always falling out. It's kind of stabbed in there. So that's what I did for his smoke. So for his eyes, I used 12 millimeter. Pretty sure they're only 12 millimeter eyes. They're fairly big actually. And then some red felt. That's what that is. There is red felt. Oh, you can hardly see it on the other eye, but you can see it better on this eye. And then just some green yarn that I sewed in to make him look sleepy. Let's jump right into this. So, I guess some green. We're going to build these legs. These these legs are built on, they're not sewn on. So we're gonna build the legs on, but the arms are sewn on. So get your green. We're gonna start with a magic ring of six single crochets. If you don't know how to do the magic ring, then do two single crochets and put six single crochets into the first stitch. It'll be exactly the same. So your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. After the first stitch, that's where your marker goes in, and then stitch number two can follow in that same space. So two single crochets in each stitch all the way around will give you 12 stitches. So your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase. That's one single crochet. That's where your marker goes. And then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. This will give you a total of 18 stitches when you're done. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring you up to 24 stitches. That's number one with your marker. 
that's number two, and then this next stitch will get the increase of so two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So you should have 24 stitches. For the next six rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 24 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that is my six rows. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. This will bring you down to 18 stitches. That's number one. That's number two. So now our decrease. There's two ways you can do it. The first way everybody I think knows that you go into your first stitch, you pull up a loop. You go into your second stitch, you pull up a loop. You yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then there's the invisible decrease, where you go into your front loop, hop around, pick up your next front loop, then you yarn over, pull through those two loops, and finish the stitch. It leaves these back loops in position so that you have less holes less gapping. So it's up to you whichever one you want to use. Either way, two single crochets and a decrease all the way around. Your last round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. So you can go ahead and fasten off. Um, this is my second leg, so I can't fasten off. But you can go ahead and fasten off your first leg. We're gonna stuff this, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna put the pattern on the screen for you to go make your second leg. And I don't want you to fasten off your second leg because we have to crochet the body onto this. So. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put the pattern up, and I will see you on the other side. If you're stuffing your legs, just make, make sure you're stuffing them the same when I meet you back here. So when you are done, we can sew leg number one to leg number two. So uh, I used five stitches when I sewed these together.
That's my fifth stitch. I'm just going to go back on myself a little bit. Make a knot somewhere in the middle. So your next round for your body is going to be one single crochets and an increase and this should bring you up to 42 stitches. That's one single crochet, hard to hold, <laughs> and then your increase of so two single crochets in the same space and repeat. So that's my 42nd stitch. I did not use any sew spaces. I only used the stitches. So that's the start of our body. So we're going to keep increasing. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. And uh, that's about as big as I wanted him because he's not fat. He might snack a lot, but he's not fat. <laughs> So that's number one. That's number two. And then your increase of so two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So that's my 56th stitch. So this is what you should have. For the next 10 rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 56 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my 10 rows. Um, we don't have to start really stuffing it now. But if you do, just make sure that in your leg area here, it's getting a really good stuff. We're going to start to decrease now. So we're going to do one uh, six single crochet decrease. That's number one. That's six single crochets. And then I'm still doing my invisible decreases. This will bring you down to 49 stitches. So I should have 49 stitches. Your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of those 49 stitches.
So, your next round is going to be another decrease. This one's going to be five single crochets and a decrease. It's number one. That is five single crochets and then your decrease. So this will bring it down to 42 stitches, so repeat this all the way around. So you should have 42 stitches for the next two rows. I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 42 stitches. So I started stuffing mine. So we're just going to continue to decrease until we get small for his neck and then we're going to build the head on. We're not sewing it on. So your next decrease is going to be four single crochets and a decrease. That's number one. That's four single crochets and then your decrease. This will bring you down to 35 stitches. So, for the next two rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 35 stitches. So that's my two rows. Next decrease is going to be three single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring it down to 28 stitches. That's three single crochets. Number one is your marker and then your decrease. So you should have 28 stitches for the next two rows. <laughs> You're going to put one single crochet in each of these 28 stitches. So, your next decrease is going to be two single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring it up to, or down to 21 stitches. That's number one, that's number two, and then your decrease.
So for the next two rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 21 stitches. And then when we come back, we're going to kind of change it up a bit because we're going to start building the head. So I'm going to put some stuffing in this as we're going to start doing things a little bit differently. We're going to um, be starting to build the head. So this is kind of our neck area. So this is the shape you should have. Let's zoom out just a titch. This is the shape. So, your next round is going to be, so right now you should have um, 21 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. So this will bump you right up to 42 stitches. So that's 42 stitches for me. This is what it should look like. One more increase round and we go back up to what we were down here, 56 stitches. So two single crochets and an increase. And this brings you back up to 56 stitches. That's number one. That's number two, and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So you should have 56 stitches and this is what it should look like. So for the next 10 rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 56 stitches and I will see you on the other side. So that's my 10 rows. So we're going to start decreasing. We're going to do a six single crochet decrease. This will bring you down to 49 stitches. That's number one. That is six single crochets and then your decrease. And repeat.
So your next round is going to be five single crochets and a decrease. This will bring you down to 42, st <coughs> 42 stitches. Sorry, still the wildfire smoke. So that's number one. That is five single crochets and, <coughs> excuse me, and then your decrease and repeat. So you should have 42 stitches for your next round. You're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 42 stitches. You can stuff this whenever you want. Just make sure the neck is stuffed really, really well. I'm going to stuff mine after this row. So one single crochet in each of these 42 stitches. So your next round is going to be four single crochets and a decrease. And then we're going to put the eyes in when we come back after this round. This will bring you down to 35 stitches. That's number one. That is four single crochets and then your decrease. So I'm done my decrease round. Let's put some eyes in here. Make sure your thing is at the back. Put your eyes at the front. Um, so grab the size that you're using. We gotta get some red felt because we've gotta cut some pieces. I'm going to work above the white so you can see what I'm doing instead of changing my whole mat. <laughs> so I'm going to do a circle. I'm folding it in half because so I can do the same, same ones at the same time. That's pretty good. I'm just hoping it's big enough. Yep. So, <clears throat> fold this in half now. We're going to cut a slit just in the center, not all the way through. Going in both directions, so you're making an X. Because we've got to shove this through there. So now that you have your eyes, you can trim this, or you can leave them like this. You can do whatever you want. Let me trim mine a little bit. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, so once you're satisfied with your tired eyes. So from the top, I put them between the seventh and eighth row. Now I want you to try to line them up with your legs. That's usually what I do. These ones are going to be eight stitches apart. Those are lined up with my legs. You can see the outer parts of my legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one I have seven in between. Initially I had written um, to have eight stitches in between. So let's see, I can move this guy out one. So the stitches have to be visible. Eight visible stitches in between for the muzzle. Now after the muzzle is on, I kind of do suck these in a little bit, so if you're like, wow, those are really far apart, I do suck them in, so they won't stay that far apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight visible stitches in between, so once you're satisfied, you can put your backs on. There we go. Those are red eyes. And then you won't really see the top red part after we put our um, eyelids on. So let's continue closing up this head and then that'll be the end of the chapter because it's been super duper long. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease. This will bring you down to 28 stitches. So you should have 28 stitches. Next round, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these 28 stitches. So your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease and this will bring it up <laughs> down <laughs> to 21 stitches. I, don't, I want to go up all day long. I want to go up. That's number one. It's two single crochets and then your decrease. Alright, I'm going to put some more stuffing in this. Our last round is going to be one single crochet and a decrease. So we're it's not going to be super duper small. We'll still be able to get stuffing in it after our next round. So that's one single crochet and that's where your, your marker goes. So then we jump right into the decrease. This is bringing it down to 14 stitches. There we go, you can fasten off.
We're going to cinch this guy shut. That's about the only tail you need. That and a weaving tail. So. so, finish stuffing his head. Once we cinch this, this will be the end of the chapter. And then uh, I'll see you in chapter two for... Well, basically the rest of them, so it's only probably going to be two chapters. This guy's not very big. Usually I make things a little bit bigger than this guy, but I kept him small for a couple of reasons. I know a lot of people are going to have this probably on display, and so, you know, whereas the other stuffed animals I make are kind of like play toys, so you make them big for kids, but let's face it, this isn't going to go to a kid. <laughs> so I made it kind of display size so that, you know, you can buy one of these little gadgets. Stick in his bum bum. You know, find the right stitches. Stick it in there. And it holds him upright. Well, I guess I didn't stick it in the right spot. But anyway, you can buy these doll holders on Amazon. And, you know, put him on display, having him stood nice and big and cute. So that's why I made him the size that I made him, in case anyone was wondering. All right, let's cinch this head up. I think mine's pretty good. And then I'll show you this doll stand thing a little bit better. We'll find a spot in his butt to stick it. And he stands pretty good. That's how I was able to take the picture for the thumbnail with him standing up without leaning him up against something. So he's the perfect size for the display stand. And he's the perfect size for, say, a shelf, a china cabinet. So that's why I chose to do that in case you guys were like, wow, this thing is small compared to what she normally does. Which it is. It is small compared to what I normally do. But there was a method to my madness. So once you pull that. I'll pop across. Make not. I have to go through your loopy loopy. I like to pop across in the other direction and do the same thing. There, that gives him a nice round head. So you can just take this and weave. So go in as close as you can to your lead to weave. And the consensus generally is three different directions. But honestly, you can weave however you want to weave. I don't think there should really be a rule. There, let me cut this off the back of my head. Isn't he cute? Cute so far. So let me find the right spot in his butt. So match that up with your feet. Stick the little rubbery ends in your butt. And he's supposed to stand up, but my guy's not really working out for me. Oh, there, because my thing's not all the way down. Ah, that's better. <laughs> I had to push my thing down. This thing comes... You can slide it up and down like that. And then to hold your dolls up. And they're kind of invisible. Well, some of them will be invisible. Um, if you got a taller doll, you could wrap that around a leg to have it stand up. But I thought it was perfect for this guy who, like I said, I figure is going to be on display. And there you have it. So, I'll see you guys in chapter two.
Hi guys, welcome back to chapter two. So let's grab some white and uh, we can start this muzzle. So we're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Again, if you don't like the magic ring, you can always do a chain two and put everything into the first stitch. Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around, giving you a total of 12 stitches. Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. And this will bring you out to 18 stitches. That's one single crochet, and then your next stitch gets the increase, which is two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. And this brings you up to 24 stitches. That's number one. That's number two, and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So this is what you should have. For the next four rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 24 stitches. So that's my four rows. So you can fasten off. You'll need a sewing tail, but get sewn on open. So we'll do the bottom jaw. So we start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Move my whole mat. <laughs> First round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch, giving you 12 stitches. I'm just going to count to 12.
For the next two rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each for these 12 stitches. So I am just going to count 24. So you can fasten off. You'll need a sewing tail and a whip stitching tail. So we don't stuff this little guy and we're just going to whip stitch him shut. So that's your little bottom jaw, and it gets sewn on in a curvy position. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of stuffing in my nose. I'm gonna probably finish filling in partway through my sewing. It's just easier to sew. So it needs to sit up right right up because the bottom jaw gets sewn on like that so it needs to sit up right say this line halfway up your eyes that's how far it has to be up so your eyes are literally literally right there so this center line that runs between your lines that's where I want you to how far up I want you to sew it and then this gets sewn to the bottom. So now that my muzzle's on, this needs to get sewn on, but like in a bent position, like a arched, not bent. <laughs> in a bit of an arc. So that's my, we need this to put the blunt in. I gotta call it that because if I call it anything else, I'm gonna get demonetized. So <laughs> um, let's do the little red heart, or the little red heart, the little green heart. I've got this forest color by Loops and Threads. So we're gonna start with a magic ring and a chain two. So I instantly chain one when I make mine, so I'm going to just put another chain in there for a chain two. And then you're going to do two double crochets. You're going to do two single crochets. Then you're going to do two double crochets. then two single crochets <laughs> and then two double crochets again so you can pull your middle we'll pull it tight 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 after 
And here I want you to chain two and then slip stitch right into the middle. Oops, it popped out. So kind of wiggle this backwards to fasten off at the back of your heart. You need a sewing tail if you're gonna sew it. So make sure you pull this down at the back so that you're tightening that at the back, not at the front. And then you can pull your middle closed. And that is your little wee heart. So that's what's gonna go on your nose. So I'm gonna just sew in. I'm gonna take my straggler at the back and I'm gonna sew first around weaving around this hole because I wanna try to see if I can get it pulled nice and tightly shut. And then I need it to stay that way. <laughs> so it is tight in here. That's not the easiest thing to accomplish. And then I use this it's almost like legging it down. I might have pulled a little tight there. So I'm going to go in through the magic ring and just out. Just to leg it in place. You can sew however you want. You certainly don't have to take lessons from me. But I also don't want to sew. This whole thing right down. I'm just moving that out of the way. I haven't started sewing yet. Um, I don't want to sew this whole thing right down. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue. Because if I was to sew all the edges. It would look absolutely horrible. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue behind this. Before I sew anything. And that way I know that even the couple few stitches that I do put in, this will be secure. Carry on. Let's um let's make our blunt while we're waiting for this to dry. Well, we can make everything else while we're waiting for this to dry. If you're gluing it like me, or you can just sew it on. So anyway, that's that's what I have so far. So I'm going to set him aside. So let's just do this fun little project because it's super cool. Um, I'm just going to break this. The size I want it. And then like I said, I just took whatever and I just kind of made it pointy. So that it's stuck in his face so I just whittled a point so it's not pointy pointy but it's enough to go in between my um you know spaces so this is where I took some white So I left some the glue to start. So I left that point not touched. So do it up and tell you how much whatever you want sticking out like that. And then just 
back down just to you gotta make it nice and thick skinny at one end thick at the other end So I'm just going to set mine aside till it dries and then I'll just cut off these extra little frilly pieces. And we can move on. So before we move on to other stuff, let's take a small piece of green. What we're going to do his eyes. We need to bring his eyes in a little bit. So it doesn't matter where you go in, it just matters where you pop out. So pop out as close to the eye as you can. I know there's a bit of a snout in the way. So leave some hanging. Don't pull it all the way through. You're going to go down into the next... So you came up this space, you need to go down into the next space. And do the same thing on the other side. When you pull, that's not going to be that noticeable. And then pop out wherever. And then while pressing your eyes, I want you to just pull. Just make sure this doesn't go anywhere though. So now your eyes are indented. Do you see? I think dolls are super cute like that. So now you have these little indents. So now I just want you to go meet up with this guy. Tie a double knot. Now your first knot should not be tight your second knot should be the tight one. And then you can weave these away and be done with it. Just make sure you're going down the same hole. So when you pull, that knot gets sucked right down into the hole. So it's just a small enough indentation to be super cute. So now we can do his eyelids over here. So he's going to look so sleepy. Sleepy, that's the word. Sleepy. <laughs> There's so much I cannot say because this is a YouTube video. But I think you all get where I'm coming from. Again, it doesn't matter where you come in, it just matters where you pop out. Don't pull it all the way through. And then you're just going to layer this eye. So you're going to have to do it in small steps. You don't have to do it all, all the same. But you're just going to go in and out of the same spaces. So you can go however, however much you want. And then when you're ready to go over here, you just got to try to find the right spot.
We finally got it right. Almost. It's almost right. It's close enough. So, with whatever little tiny piece you have. <laughs> I've got a pretty small piece. So, I think this nose is dried long enough. Sew this on and then we can move on to the rest. So, I'm not using the stitches. I am using the outer or the inside ridge to go in and out. And again, I'm just being very careful not to change the shape. Just make sure you go into that point, but not the stitches because you don't want that to look flat. But the reason for the glue is just so it doesn't roll. Because if these started to roll up, it would really make your your work look like crap. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary because I used the glue. I don't think it's necessary to tie a knot and have to weave it down. So I'll just cut that off. I used the glue. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't think mine's straight. <laughs> Oh, my lovely sewing. Anyway. So, we can worry about the blunt later, putting it in, you know, that's just for show. So, let's get on to his belly patch. And then we'll get this, um, this leaf done. So, grab your white. The belly patch is white. We start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch, giving you 12 stitches. Oh, I just had a sneezing fit. <laughs> I was trying to crochet while I was having a sneezing fit. So your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. So bring it up to 18 stitches. That's number one. Your next stitch will get the increase of two single crochets in the same space. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 24 stitches. That's number one. That's number two. And then your increase. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. This will bring you up to 30 stitches. That's number one. That's three single crochets and then your increase.
Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase. That's four single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. But this will bring you up to 36 stitches. Your very last, well not your last round, your last increase round is going to be five single crochets and an increase. That's five single crochets, then your increase. This will bring it up to 42 stitches. So your very last row is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 42 stitches and that's to get rid of these points. And these points are just what you get when you do an increase after increase after increase. So this should not make your work roll but you're sewing it down anyway so just try to keep it loose. So this is what it should look like, nice and round, no more points, you can fasten off. You need enough to sew it to the belly. I'm going to go in from behind and I'm just going to pull this through before I start sewing just because it'll look better when I start to sew. It won't make that even or anything but it'll certainly look a little bit better. So we need to do the herb for being on it. So I did sew them on separately a magic ring of eight single crochets. We are going to slip stitch. chain one. So in this first stitch I want you to do a single crochet and then we're going to chain seven. We're going to slip stitch, single crochet, one half double, one double, one half double, single crochet, and slip stitch into the same space. Into 
into the very next stitch you're going to do a single crochet and you're going to chain six the first stitch you're going to slip stitch then you're going to do a single crochet going to do two half doubles. Sorry, my camera died. <laughs> my battery died. Um, so anyway, two half doubles. It's my second half double. Then you're going to put a single crochet into this last stitch and you're going to slip stitch into the same space. Round three, you're going to start with a single crochet and you're going to chain five. going to do a slip stitch you're going to do a single crochet and a half double your last stitch is a single crochet and then slip stitch into the same space So, these next three stitches are going to be the same. So, round four to six, you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to chain four. You're going to do a slip stitch, a half double, a single. And a slip stitch into that same space. Next one's the same. Chain four, slip stitch, half double, single crochet, slip stitch into that same space. One more time, single crochet into the next stitch, chain four, slip stitch, one half double, a single crochet, slip stitch into that same space. So your next round is going to be a single crochet, chain five. So now we're just doing what we did over here, five and six. So chain five, you're going to slip stitch. You're going to do a single crochet, a half double, single crochet and slip stitch into the same space. One last stitch you're going to go into and you're going to chain six. Man, I'm having problems over here. <laughs> Camera problems, light problems, <laughs> just <laughs> into my light. So you're gonna do a slip stitch. You're gonna do a single crochet. You're gonna do two half doubles. A single crochet. And then a slip stitch. So, the problem I did last time was I slip stitched into the same space. 
and that's when I got the gap. So this time, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of this chain one that I originally did, and that should fix the problem. You can fasten off. But before I fasten off, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, it fixed that problem. So <laughs> that's the mistake I made on this one was I slip stitched into the same space instead of slip stitching into the top of that chain one. So, um, I did not do a whole lot of sewing. Again, it's completely up to you. Uh, I chose to really glue mine down because I don't want it to roll. So pull down on this so that you're not fastening off up here where it's noticeable. You're going to fasten off kind of at the back part. And then you can pull your magic ring completely closed as much as you can. We'll have to sew it in to get it completely closed. And again, it's super duper tight back here but just do your best super tight means that when you do this it's not going to come back open so that's a good thing that it's super tight so I'm just going around the magic ring itself to pull it shut So you don't need to completely cut that off. You can kind of leave a little bit. So that's our leaf. I know it's hard to see. You'll see when we get it on. So let's sew our belly on, and we'll get the we'll get the belly and the pot leaf and everything done now because. Um, if you are using glue like I am, then it'll have time to dry when you to get your arms done. So let's uh, sew this on. All right, that's his belly patch. Did something weird over here. I don't know what it was. So these three little guys, they need to be at the bottom. This guy needs to be at the top. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So you can sew this on any way you want. I'm going to first use glue to establish it, to establish it before I even sew anything on because I don't want it to uh, I don't want it to roll up. So that's what it should look like, which is now perfect. It's a lot better than my other one. So, um, you know, you can go ahead and do whatever you're going to do. So the important part is to put your pin at the very top. That's the important part because that's the part that's going to roll up if you're not if it's not glued down. So 
So I'm just going to leave mine to dry and then um, I will come back and finish sewing that on. I got my head turned a little bit too, which is super cute. I love this guy. I'm so glad. Jessica requested it, so thank you, Jessica. This is such an adorable little project. I absolutely love it. So, moving on to arms and ears. So we'll build it all first while this dries and then we can come back and do all the sewing and then a little bit of tuft of hair on top of his head and then this little guy is done. All right, so let's start with the ears. We're gonna do a magic ring of six single crochets. Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. This will bring it up to 18 stitches. Your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. Your next round is going to be five single crochets and an increase. The reason I jumped up in numbers so large is because I just wanted a small, tiny, wee little in increase. I didn't want a big one, so. That's five single crochets, and then your increase. This brings you up to 21 stitches. So instead of increasing six times, I only increased three times. So you should have 21 stitches. For the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 21 stitches. So that's my three rows, that's what you should have. So we're gonna to start to decrease. We're gonna do five single crochets and a decrease. This will bring you down to 18 stitches. That's number one. That's five single crochets. And then I'm gonna do my invisible. So front loops, front loop. Yarn over, pull through, finish the stitch. You can do whichever decrease you want to do. So 
So your next round is going to be four single crochets in a decrease. This will bring you down to 15 stitches and then we're going to fasten off. So that is it. Fasten off. You'll need a sewing tail and a whip stitching tail. The ear does not get stuffed. So it's supposed to be kind of concaved like that. And then we do the white in the middle. So make sure this is on the side because we're going to whip stitch. So like I've said before, whip stitch is generally back loop to back loop, but I think we all just do the whole entire stitch. There we go. So, that's our one ear. I'll put the pattern up. You can go ahead and make your second one. I'll meet you right back here. So now that you got both your ears done, let's get to doing the white parts. So get your white. We're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. So I'm just going to count to 12. Next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. Again, the big jump in number is because I just wanted a small little increase. So it's number one. That's three single crochets and then this next stitch will get your increase. So you can fasten off. The sewing tail. I'm going to come through the back again and pull this through. That's where I'll start sewing from. So this I'm going to snip off because I waved it in. So that's what you should have. Go ahead and make your second piece.
So now that our pieces are done, you can go ahead and um, sew them to the ear. So those are our ears all done and we'll get the arms done and then we can sew everything on. So the arms are just these short little guys, I'll show you. They're just these short little guys. So they don't take long. You're gonna start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. That's it. For the next 17 rows, I want you to put one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. And I will see you. Now don't fasten off after 17 rows because we're going to decrease. So 17 rows, 12 stitches, I'll see you on the other side. That's my 17 rows. So I'm put a little bit of stuffing in it. We're going to decrease this top before we close it up. Just try not to overstuff and <laughs> make my make my parts the same size. So your last round is going to be one single crochet and a decrease. This will bring you down to eight stitches, and then you can kind of cinch from there. So one single crochet and then you jump right into your decrease. Since this is the final row I don't think it's super important which one you do. So you can fasten off. Cinching and sewing. That's, that's, that's tail you need. I just said that weird. So just make sure it's full. Because you don't want any wrinkly, ugly bits at the top. So in the front loop, out the front loop of the next stitch, all the way around. Stuff in my stuffing as I go. So I'll just pull and then we can make a knot, pop across, make a knot. I like to go both directions. So, I stuff it away. You gotta kind of pop out the side. So, to kind of find the highest part of this bump to pop out the side, it should help pull that bump down so it doesn't look so bad. So I'm going to put the pattern up. Go ahead and make your second arm. 
and I'll meet you right back here. So now that we kind of got everything made, we can start sewing stuff on. Let's do the arms first. The ears are difficult. The ears are always difficult. That's my thing. Oh, we can sew this on. It should be dry. So I'm going to sew my ears on first just because they're difficult and I just want to get them done and out of the way. It's hard to show you what happens when I pull. <laughs> I'm sure you can see your own. Oh gosh, I, I might have actually got my ears even this time. Well, that never happens. But I'm, look it. Might have got my ears even. So I'm going to go down in this corner. And pop out to meet this guy in the same hole. Okay, maybe I didn't quite get it. Even. Well, this one's sitting up higher. This one here is sitting up higher. But close enough. <laughs> so we can sew our arms on. I think for my guy, I'm not going to actually sew his shoulders down. There. Those arms still move. So, we gotta do a little tuft of hair on his head. So I just took my hand and my four fingers and I just wrapped. So, you're gonna take your hook, you're gonna take your piece and you're gonna fold it in half. You're gonna find a spot and kind of go in and pull up a piece. You're gonna put that on your hook and you're gonna pull it through. Oh, I got some stuffing in there. You may get some stuffing. Anyway, pull it through and pull it up so you're making a loop to yarn over and pull through. That's how we're gonna attach the hair. Like that. So, I don't, not too serious about that. And, a piece store stones his little so the only part sticking up is just a little piece here I'm just gonna cut that off so I didn't wrap the end of this oh sorry you're white on white so I didn't wrap the end of that just what I needed and then just open his mouth and that should be able to poke right in there so that it's not falling out all the time and there you go 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm gonna end the video but just know that this is still gluing if it doesn't totally stick I'm gonna use hot glue to stick it down but um, you can go ahead and sew yours if you want it's just it really flattens it out and I didn't I didn't want to do the entire sewing part of it so there I think that is it this is this is what we got we got our cute little guy thanks for joining me guys I'll see you in the next video